Hello. In this video, I would like to explain how to use these four storage classes in C language. The first storage class is auto, which we don't have to mention because this is the default storage class for local variables. So here, I have a local variable and this variable is automatically prefixed with auto. So I don't have to mention that. By the way, storage class is given on the left of the data type. So this is where if you have to give storage class, you have to mention. Now, auto variables are the ones that are automatically created as you enter into function and automatically removed once you exit the function. So every time you enter into function, they are created and every time you leave the function, they are removed from memory. So in this case, I'm calling the function twice. That means in the memory, first time when we call the function, the variable v local is created with value one and it is printed. But at the end, this variable is gone. So next time when I enter into function, one more instance of that is created and another copy is created. I mean, a, a new copy is created. There we get one and we print one. So every time you enter into function, the variable is created automatically and automatically it is uh, removed at the end. That's auto. Now let us see how static works. If I change this variable from, by the way, let me run and show you how it works. So there we are, we get two ones. Now, I change the storage class for this variable from auto to static. Now what is going to be the difference? This time, as you enter into function, only once the variable is created. So we are trying to promote the extent, means how long the variable is allocated memory from local extent to static extent. Local extent means it is confined only to the function. Static extent means it is available all through the program. Now, as we enter into the function, the variable is created, initialized to 1, and then we print it. But next time when I enter into this, that is when we are entering into it second time, this variable is not created because first of all, when I leave this function, this was not destroyed. Now, what difference does it make? Now, if I, after printing this, increment this local variable by 1, and this is going to be the scenario. In the memory, you have the variable set to 1 in the beginning, and we print 1, and after that, we increment it by 1, so it becomes 2. And now, we exit the function, but this variable is not removed it still stays in memory. So second time when you enter into it, this creation is bypassed. The variable is already there and its value is 2. And that's what you are going to see here. And at the end of it, the variable is further incremented and it is 3. And the next time when you enter into function, it will be printing 3. So the value of the variable is retained across function calls. So this is how static extent works. Now let's compile and run. There you can see 1, 2. And if you are not giving static, it's going to be 1, 1 because every time the variable is created. Now the third storage class is register. If I change it to register, then I'm asking C to allocate memory for this variable in microprocessor register if possible. Typically, you get the allocation in memory. This is your RAM. This is where variables are allocated. 
the memory but to make things faster if you can put the variable in the register remember register is a small location in the microprocessor this is your microprocessor and your register is a small location in the microprocessor so if i can put a value in the microprocessor register then that can be accessed pretty fast especially when you are accessing variable for thousands of times instead of getting the value from memory into microprocessor if the value is in the microprocessor itself it's going to be much faster so if you feel a variable is used very frequently you can think of using register storage class for that and this is only a request there is no guarantee that this variable is allocated a register it might still be in memory because registers are not available always however there is a restriction you cannot use address operator with any variable with register storage class because if at all you have register allocation you cannot take address of register remember address is only applicable for memory not for registers so if you try to use ampersand with any of those things then it doesn't work and then the last one is extend storage so what is this extern now extend storage is saying we are talking about two different programs because in large applications you talk about multiple programs so here is how it works to start with let me show you this now this is my first program so this is where i create a variable let's say this is a dot c i'm creating a variable here called int g and i'm assigning 10 to that and this is my second program this is my second c program i call it as b dot c now these two programs will be linked together these two programs will be put together at the time of uh, linking now here i'm saying i don't want to create an another variable instead i'm referring to the variable which is already created in another program so here i have to say extern int g so here i'm saying this is a variable that is external to this program and later when we put these two together we are going to get this variable from another program that is in this case a dot c so extern says this variable is not created in this program this is created in some external program some other program and these two will be made available to the linker uh, at a later stage so that's the purpose of uh, extern storage so that's about uh, how we deal with auto static register and extern okay so that's about storage classes and uh, all the very best for your c programming bye bye